everyone, it's Lindsay and I'm back today with another Card Making 101 video, this time on heat embossing. So the first thing let's go over are all the tools you need. Now the first thing you're going to need is a heat tool. You cannot use a hair dryer, you cannot use anything as a sub for this. You need this tool because it gets super hot. Now I turn it on, you can hear it in the background there, but did you see how red it gets on the inside there? This thing gets super hot, hotter than a hair dryer ever will. So you're also going to need an embossing ink pad. Now I like Versamark, but you can also use a pigment ink pad. There are also other embossing pads on the market. Versamark is just my favorite. You're going to need embossing powder. There are many different kinds and I won't go over all of them today. I am just using a plain white embossing powder for today's demonstration. You're also not necessarily going to need, but I would highly suggest using either an embossing bag. Um, something that would sub for this would be a dryer sheet, and you'll see why I use this in a moment. I would also highly suggest a pair of tweezers. Now these are reverse grip tweezers, so when I squeeze them, they let go. Once I let go of them, they hold tight to whatever they're holding on to. This is going to save my fingers from a lot of burns. Also, a small nice little paint brush to brush away any stray powders is a great tool to have and then of course you need your stamp and then a folded piece of paper now this can be any kind of paper just make sure it's a clean piece there's a look at all the tools that I'm going to be using today and also a closer look at that white embossing powder as well now first off I'm starting with my black piece of cardstock and I'm just going to rub my embossing bag over this. You can see this puts a nice powder on it and this is just going to cut down on stray powders. You can also use a powder tool. There are ones with little brushes on the end. I've also heard of people using cotton balls that have been dipped in baby powder or cornstarch and also a dryer sheet will work as well. Ink up your stamp with your embossing ink and then press it down firmly onto your cardstock. Now you can see this doesn't look like much, it just looks like I've put a darker watermark on my paper, but this is a nice sticky ink that's going to stay wet for a long time. I've put my cardstock onto my folded piece of cardstock and then I'm just going to dump the embossing powder over it. Now the first time I seen somebody do this, I thought, what are they doing? They're wasting all that powder. Oh my gosh, but all you need to do is go ahead and flick off any excess powder that's on your cardstock. You can also use your brush to brush away any stray powders. Fold up your paper and funnel all that extra embossing powder back into the container so you're not wasting any at all. So that just gave me a little scare when I seen somebody doing that, but you can reuse it. So put down as much as you want. Now I am going to go ahead and attach my tweezers at this point just because this is such a small piece of cardstock. I don't want to burn my fingers. And I'll zoom you in. I'm going to turn on my heat gun, let it get warm for just a few seconds, anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds, let it get warm, and then bring it to your paper. Now this is the amazing part. You start to see that embossing powder melt onto the paper. It amazes me every time it happens but you'll know when it's done once you see all of that kind of go from a softer white to a really intense bright white. You can burn this, so just make sure you don't leave it on there too long. Once it has cooled down, there you have a nice embossed piece of paper. Here's a closer look at the results of that heat embossing. I hope you all enjoyed this video and you can find more information and all the supplies I mentioned over on my blog today. The link is in the description box below. Thanks for watching.